It's Vegan Recipes with Pat and Emily. Hey, welcome back to It's Vegan. Today, I'm going to show you two ways to make pot pie. One, I call a savory pie. My niece, Elizabeth, named it that when I took it to dinner for Thanksgiving. She was like, who made this delicious savory pie? So I'm gonna show you how to make that today. And I'm also gonna show you how Grandma Klingensmith used to make pot pie, although mine will not have the meat in it. <laughs> we will have to have a pie crust, which we will give you the recipe and the link below. I have that ready. And you also have to start with the brown flour gravy, and we will also put that link below. Okay, what I have in the pot now is two cups of cubed potatoes, a cup of celery, and a half a cup of onion. I cooked it in about a half a cup of water to get the a little bit tender and soft before I add my frozen vegetables. And I let them thaw a little bit. Today I am using a, a 12 ounce bag of mixed vegetables. They're organic and I do get these at Aldi. Stirring that all up. Now I'm adding the brown flour gravy. How much? This is one recipe, and that's approximately a cup of sauce. And I already have my pie crust ready. Now this will thicken a tiny bit while it's cooking. You don't want it to be too, too pasty because then it's dry. Okay, I'm going to put it into my pie crust. And I bake it on a cooking sheet. Because if it drips, I don't want it dripping in my stove. And it might not all fit in. If it doesn't, you can just use the extra as a side dish. But I'm going to try to get that broth out. Oh, I think we can make it. What do you think, Em? It'll be close. It'll bake down a little. We'll do it. I'm cooking on a cooking sheet, so. Now, I already had the crust ready. And you know, you can always make this crust and just have it in your freezer. If you're in a pinch for time, you could use a frozen pie crust. But for the next recipe, the other way that we're making pot pie, you cannot use the frozen pie crust. So I'm tucking these together. You can see I'm just folding it up, trying to seal the pie. And this is a beautiful pie. Wait till you see when it's finished. So I have it all together. I'm just making sure that it's sealed right now. And now I'm going to pinch the edge to make it pretty. I take two fingers and then one finger from my other hand. So I push it like so. This also helps to seal the crust. So if any of the delicious filling comes out, hopefully it will stay in the crust. Now this pie crust, this makes a great fruit pie also. And now I'm going to show you my next step. I spilled some filling over here. I'm definitely cleaning it up. And then with scissors, I make cuts inside the crust. And that allows the steam to escape. It also allows the filling to come to the top of the pie instead of fall out of the pie. So I like to go and, whoops, do you see that little carrot came out? I'm going to tuck it back in. And then I cut in this direction as well. It just makes it pretty. You could cut in a design. Oh, there's a, a piece of corn trying to get out. We'll just stick it down in there. 
Now this is going to bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. And what that does is it sets up the crust and helps it start getting crisp right away. Then after 15 minutes, I'll turn it down to 350 degrees and it'll probably take 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, I'm about to show you how to make pot pie soup. This is like a second option for making pot pie. It's really a quick version. You will need four recipes of brown gravy, which we will put the recipe below. You will need mixed vegetables, some potatoes, celery, onion. Again, we'll put the quantities below. And what you're doing is you're going to bring all of that up to a nice full boil. So I'm waiting for it to get a little bit fuller on the boil. You can see there's a little bit going on in there. And I will, I have my pie crust and I'm going to cut it to go on top of my boiling noodles. And I like to cut them on the diagonal. I just think they look pretty, but maybe once they're cooked, you can't even tell. So I've got a nice boil going and I am laying the pie crust on top of the boiling mixture. This is a recipe that you could have the soup part of it made and the pie crust made and in the freezer. Uh, do not use a frozen pie crust for this because it does not work well. It actually just dissolves inside the that filling. But if you had the soup ready and you had the pie crust ready, this could become a pretty quick meal. Now you might think I'm running out of space for noodles, but I'm actually not. And what I find is people want to pick out the noodles and eat eat the noodles, well the pie crust, but they become like noodles. So I'm just gently stirring them, pushing them down a little bit so that I can put another layer up there. You actually want a pan that has a pretty wide top to it because you are putting this pie crust on it. And I always try to lay it on top of one of the bubbles so it starts cooking right away. Okay, we have all of the pie crust in there. I'm just pressing it down a tiny bit. I'm going to put the heat on low and leave the lid on and it will cook for another 20 minutes. Every now and then you might want to check it to make sure it's not scorching. The pot pie soup is ready. So I'm going to serve myself some and if I had some family sitting with me right now, I'd serve them a nice big bowl as well. And you can serve it with some bread and some homemade apple butter. I'm going to go ahead and taste it. Mmm. This is true vegan comfort food. <laughs> Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for the baked pot pie. Okay, the savory pot pie is finished. It's time to serve it. You know, it's hard to get that first piece out, so let's see how it goes. Hey, not bad. Now just to get the rest of those vegetables. Now for the taste test. I want to get a piece of the crust for sure. Mmm, that is perfect. Yum. 
The vegetables are just the right tenderness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's see how some more crust is. I love it. I hope you do too.